hey guys welcome back to another video if this is your first time ever watching my channel make sure to hit that subscribe button right now also before we get started make sure to like this video and turn on your post notifications so that you do not miss any videos hey guys you guys know i filmed my unfurnished studio tour literally last summer this has been so long i filmed it as soon as i moved into my apartment it is now february 1st and i still have not filmed a furnished um studio tour so i figured i would get on here today and show you guys what i did with the place and just give you guys an updated look at how the studio looks now um before we get started i did not have time or really a desire to really decorate it and make it really really how i wanted it i'll be moving this summer that one for sure i'm going to be putting a lot of work into this one i kind of just really feel like i'm never here and i literally come here to sleep and that's it so don't judge me it's not luxurious at all we're moving pretty soon definitely really tiny but you know what it's okay it's my little humble home for now go ahead and give the view are you ready let's go inside oh hi who is it is it chanel hi chanel this is your apartment oh my goodness i love it <laughs> thank you for letting me in <laughs> okay guys so this is here's a little view of the apartment Up right here to the left this is the worst part of the studio because you guys know I have a clothing store and I have a million clothes and trying to fit all those clothes into this tiny little closet is, oh my god, embarrassing. I cannot believe I'm showing all this, but you know what? This is real life right here. So, oh my god, look, hangers are falling, everything. Um, but, you know what? I have so many tops. I kind of try to organize it the best way I could. I should have actually fixed this before I did this video, but you know what? It's real life. Um, but I just have tops going from here to long sleeves. To matching sets here it's really really hard to see all my stuff honestly I'm not gonna lie um, over here I have like dresses like sleeveless to long sleeve down here I have bins oh my god the embarrassment of this right now bins it has like socks bra stuff like that t-shirts uh, sweats joggers stuff I used to sleep um, and then over here I kind of did some shoes here um, I have my Nike the Adidas more Nikes over there more Nikes, Vans down there, Yeezys, Nikes, oh my god, how many Nikes do I have? Um, more Yeezys, Adidas, more Nikes, Adidas, Hills, boots, um, booties, thigh-high boots, all kinds of good stuff like that. Over here, guys, I have a million jackets too. This is what I'm, this is what's happening right now. Like, I'm so embarrassed, but I'm just already ready to move because this is not working out for me right now. <laughs> Uh, I promise the tour is going to get better. <laughs> but up here I have shorts and skirts. Um, here I have like matching sets that are like comfy and stuff. Um, some lounge sets. And here I have some crop tops, body suits that are like more like basics and I can pair with just basic stuff. I think here is some more body suits and tops. Um, here I have jumpsuits, which are like the one piece jumpsuits. And then at the bottom I have more jumpsuits down there guys this is a struggle and then back here i have some hats purses stuff like that look at my mini mouse ears from disneyland um some purses and yeah nothing to see there honestly i just i gave i just literally gave away um like two like two or three bins of clothes to the salvation army because i literally couldn't fit anything else so I literally had to clean my closet out at the beginning of this year and take like three bins to Salvation Army and I just donated them because I was like, can't do anything with that. Can't get more clothes. Literally can't get more clothes if I don't get rid of some stuff. So that's my struggle right now. Um, but the rest of the apartment's not as bad. <laughs> so as you guys remember from my last video, this is the washer and dryer here. Really, really convenient, hidden. You can't even tell it's there. Um, and over here I have a little uh, ironing board. A little broom back there, slipper, dryer sheets, and stuff like that. To the right, we have our bathroom. This is probably like my favorite part of the apartment studio because it is so like modernized. I love the granite. I love the big mirror. Um, and I really, really love the shower, which I'll show you all in a second. 
But up here we have, I just have a really cute little lamp. Um, I have my little Chanel perfume. This smells so good. I need to spray this right now. I have this Juicy Couture perfume that a friend gave me for Christmas. I also got this for Christmas from one of my aunts. Thank you. Shout out to that. Victoria's Secret. Um, oh my god, guys. I have to do a story time. I had to get glasses. Can y'all believe that? And they're actually blue light. You can tell. Um, but yeah, I'll tell y'all about that later, which is not good. Um, I have this little bin with like little hair ties and stuff. Toothbrush. I got this little, um... I got this little set right here off of Marshalls, um, and I just put little cotton pads here, hair ties, and Q-tips here. Oh my god, why did I not organize this? Um, over here, I have a little skincare um, area where I have my little jade roller. I have a little brush for um, face mask. I have a little blemish extractor here for like blackheads stuff like that this works really good i found this at the dollar store so y'all should get one of those um and then i have a little guisha here it's actually broken i drop these all the time and they always break so i have to keep getting new ones but i use this for like my right here just like go like that and then it's supposed to like chisel out your your jaw and stuff and your cheekbones i don't know if it really works but i still use it um and then i have these little little spoons for like face masks and stuff like that I keep all my essentials right here so I have deodorant I love this and I've been using this one forever it really like works so good and if you haven't tried this make sure you try it out because I've been using it for years I have this uh, mouthwash definitely need that I keep your mouth really clean and then this Nivea essentially enriched deep moisturizing serum moisturizing so thick and creamy I absolutely love it um, and then moving on to my skincare routine right here. Um, I have so many products here, guys. I have more down below in this these cabinets, but I cannot show you all that. This is just what I use on an everyday basis right here. Um, first, we'll start off. I guess I'll go ahead and start off with what I use like first. Mainly is this Mario Badescu glycolic acid toner. I use this. Well, I should have started off with my face wash, but it's in the shower. I have a face wash. Then I move on to using this. This really just tones your face, takes off any extra dirt, makeup, stuff like that. Um, and it works really good and it's really affordable. I really love Mario Badescu. You cannot go wrong with their products. Um, next up, I use the, um, I use this more in the daytime. This is a Mario Badescu Control Moisturizer for Oily Skin. This works really, really good. It does not make me, this changed the game for me. As soon as I started using this, my makeup just started looking flawless. I didn't get oily throughout the day. And this is like a game changer for me. If you have oily skin, try this out. These are really affordable products as well. Um, next up for moisturizer. This is the one I use at night. Shout out to Angel. She's one of my customers and friends. She put me onto this Monet. If you are interested in any Monet products, make sure to go check her out. She's amazing. She's so sweet and she'll hook you up with all these products. Um, this is the Monet Be Purified Oil Free Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer as well. It doesn't make you oily and it really, really gives you a lot of hydration and stuff like that. I really love that. And she also gave me this Night Haven Overnight Age Control Cream. You guys know if you saw my last video, I will use anything that's going to make me look younger, more youthful, and this definitely does that I use this before I go to sleep at night and I love it um next this is sometimes what I use this is just the Burt's Bees dark spot corrector I told you guys in my last video I have a lot of dark spots on my skin from where I used to have acne and stuff it says renewal with vitamin C I think this really works I've been using it for a while as you can tell it's kind of empty but I feel like it does work I kind of just mix a few drops in with my moisturizer and I don't know I don't know if it really works but I feel like it does honestly um next up if you guys have not used Aquaphor before what are you doing this is amazing for using it as chapstick um it really really like brings so much moisture to your lips um I use this as chapstick so um, it's really for dry, cracked, or irritated skin, but I use this for chapstick and it's literally a game changer. Um, next up is this castor oil, organic castor oil eyelash serum. As you guys saw in my last video, I told you guys I was trying to regrow my eyelashes, so I picked this up. I think I got it from Walmart, um, and it has a little dropper, and 
I what I do is I stick my um, my spoolie in here every night this one stick it in there put it all over my eyelashes just like that and my eyebrows and I'm trying to regrow them so I'm, I'm hoping it works I, I feel like it really is working so make sure to pick up a castor oil if you want to grow your eyelashes or your eyebrows um, and then next up over here I have some eye drops because I've been having a lot of allergies living in West Texas and these eye drops are for allergies if you ever um, have like red eyes and stuff like that this is really good for that um, next up I also do have dry eye so I had to go to the eye doctor they told me I needed a dry eye drop that's what this is I use this mainly like at night um, and then I have these Lumify drops Nas Kavari actually recommended these and what it really does it just brightens your eyes if you have like a tendency to get like red eyes the product for you there it goes okay so this really just like clears your eyes makes them wider and brighter especially if you're going on like YouTube doing pictures and stuff like that you're gonna want to need this it really just clears your eyes up it makes them look a lot brighter and you can look more awake how's here um towels here i have a laundry basket there y'all don't want to see that over here i just have some like hand wash towels and stuff that i use in the shower take my makeup off here i have my waist trainer i have i got these at my store if you guys need a waist trainer these work really really good i freaking love mine um but the favorite part about my studio is my shower i have a stand-up shower it's so nice this is like i could spend literally all day in here it's so beautiful it has this tiled shower it's like a stand-up shower um and it's really beautiful i have a little um tear what's it called tear shelves in here and it has like face wash up here razor um next one is shampoo and conditioner there's my face wash that i use right there and then next up is my like body washes creams um sugar scrubs and stuff like that down there at the bottom Nothing really special to see. I just have like kind of basic products right now. So once I get really fun products, I will give you guys like a shower update with that. But yeah, guys, that's the bathroom. Let's move on to the kitchen area. I absolutely love the kitchen. I think it's gorgeous and beautiful. It's a really, really good size. Um, and I've been spending a lot of time in the kitchen cooking. And I had my family over for dinner a couple times, which I was so proud of myself. But yeah let's i don't know if i should open up the fridge it might be embarrassing too okay well i have a lot of random stuff eggs i really make sure to just keep eggs chicken meat in here and then like really what i have a lot of is like milk coffee creamers and stuff like that that's what i just live off of and then i try to have at least sandwich stuff in here i feel like i live like a college student like i have just like hot pockets pizza rolls oh my god this is embarrassing i'm like 26 and i have college food and that's embarrassing um but let's go ahead and move on i have this really cute knife set my mom gave this to me actually she got a new one so she went ahead and gave that to me um and i do want to go ahead like when i move go ahead and get all new kitchenware like i'm gonna get like a new knife set a new like little thing like this i want to do like a modern vibe like the like an everything nude so i kind of see like everything doesn't match right now but this is for utensils i just keep my little like little spoons in here Here's my Kaylin Couture cutting board. You guys saw that in the last video. Oh my God, here is the star of the show. This is my Ninja Air Fryer double basket. And guys, if you don't have an air fryer, what are you doing with your life? This will change the game for you. This will change your life. Literally, I got this for Christmas. It was the only thing I wanted and this is what I got. Shout out to my mom, thank you for this. It is amazing. You can literally cook all kinds of stuff. Vegetables, fish, chicken, um, steak, fries literally anything it's going to cook it for you super fast and really really good and make an investment in this because it's worth it um next up i have my cookbook i don't know if i had this last time but i have not used any recipes out of there yet but i'm really planning on it and i love christy Teigen. um next up i have my toaster sometimes i make like avocado toast toast in the morning bagels waffles stuff like that so i really love that Next up is my Keurig. This is the most important thing in my life right here. I use this every single day. I've had this since college. It's been with me through thick and thin. Literally has not broke down yet. I don't know how. But yeah, it's literally my ride or die right here. I love that. Next up is my stove. Oh my god, it's dirty because I cooked last night. Let's use that. 
Here I have some fruits and vegetables. I always make sure to keep really fresh fruits and vegetables because I really, I've always been like a vegetable person. I can just snack on vegetables and fruits and be good. I'd rather eat vegetables and fruits over chips, so yeah. Oh my God, next I have this little cute cup. Shout out to my mom, she got these made for me. I gave them out to my friends and family for Christmas and it's so cute. I don't know exactly who made these, but it has my little cartoon on here. And then the back says Kaylin Couture. How cute is that? Like, it's adorable. I haven't used it yet, but I'm planning on it pretty soon. I just love it looking really pretty right there, so. Okay guys, let's move on to, I guess you can call this the living room, I don't know. But here's my couch. We have Chanel's little um, play, what is it called? Little toy box right here. Say, I have a toy box and I always tear up all my toys. Um, her little beds over here. This is her little area. Um, and she has another extra bed on top because she tends to tear up her beds. Um, her little food bowls. We have a TV here. Um, I, watch, I don't really watch TV that often, but usually I just put it on to fall asleep. So I like to have it. Um, down here I have all my little magazines, stuff like that. I love fashion and I have to keep those there. Next up, we'll move on to the bedroom area. As you guys can tell, I don't have anything on the walls because like I said, I just didn't have time and this is just kind of working with what I got for now. But this is the bed area. I'll scoot back just a little bit. Look at Chanel. She's looking for something under the fridge. She always like... We always play and then her balls and her toys end up under the fridge, so she's looking for it right there. Baby, I don't think there's anything under there. I don't think there is anything under there, no. Okay, so, excuse my bed, it's not the best. I kind of just bought like a random white comforter from Marshalls or something and kind of threw it on there. I got these nude sheets. I really like the nude right now. And then I put this white blanket over. I just have two pillows here. Well, I have five, but I have these two that I sleep on. These two are like more decorative. And then I have this one, which is silk pillowcase because they say it makes your skin really nice and good for your skin and it's good for your hair. So I always try to keep a silk pillowcase. Over here I have just a plant and then this really cute clock. Um, it's not set right now. It keeps getting unplugged, so it always changes. That's not the right time. Um, and then I have my little skylight. You guys always ask me about this. This is the Bliss Light skylight. So you can't really tell, but at night you guys can see it. I always post it on my stories and you're like, what is that? And that's what this is. It is the Bliss skylight. I got it on Amazon. I'll link it down below in the description box below. Um, and I always keep this by my bedside. This is my, look, it's tore up because it's Chanel. I keep this by my side every single day. It's a daily devotional called Jesus Calling. I'll link this also in the description box below. Um, but it has like a date, so you go to the date and then you find the date and then you read the little scripture passage and then it comes with the scripture down here so you can go look it up if you wanna read more in the Bible, but a little bit more. Um, it just gives you a really nice passage, really nice to start your day off with or end your day off with. I like to read it in the morning, that way I have it throughout the day. Um, but this really is what keeps me going. If I don't have this, it's really hard to really go through the day because you never know what's going to come your way throughout the day. But as long as you have this, it gives you a little bit of reassurance that you have God with you. So I really love that. And then underneath I have my Bible here. I want to get a new one because, um, I don't know. I want one that I can like write in kind of like a journal type, but oh, there's my little cousins there. How cute. I took that picture actually. Um, yeah, and then I have this little sleep eucalyptus, or sleep, um, essential oil blend. I use this at night. I kind of just put it on my pillowcase and kind of just smell it a little bit. It helps me sleep better, so I really like to keep this by my bedside. Next up, we have the standing mirror. Okay, y'all are going to see my outfit. I'm wearing slippers, but it's okay. Um, oh, guys, I cut my hair yesterday. What do you think? Cut five inches off my hair. I cannot believe it. We cut like, it was like down here. And now it's kind of short, but I really am loving it so much. Like, it feels so healthy. She also colored it and she kind of corrected the color that was in my hair. It was looking really bad, so I really love it. But what do y'all think? Hey, mirror. I've had this mirror forever. I forgot where I got it. I want to say Kirkland's. Yeah, Kirkland's. I've had so many standing mirrors because of the store. I just can't even keep up anymore. Um, but I put that there, that way I can see my outfits when I'm leaving um, to work and stuff like that. 
Um, and then next up, you guys didn't see this, but before, literally just this week, I moved this vanity right here. This is actually my dining table. It was right here. It has these white chairs. That's why you guys see the white chairs. It's actually a dining table, but I, like I said in my last video, I wanted to get back into makeup. I was so disappointed that this studio didn't have enough room for a vanity area. So I was like, you know what? I don't even really eat dinner here. I don't really even use it. So I was like, I'm turning it into a vanity. So that's exactly what I did. And excuse the mess, because I just got done filming a Sephora haul, Volta haul. You guys will see that before this one. Um, but what I did was I just moved all my brushes here, some makeup. Um, I have my little Bose speaker. I've had this forever, I think since college, and it's been with me since then. I love this for my apartment because I can just blast music and just chill. Okay, here I have some jewelry. Got a little Kayla Gator tag here, actually. Some sunglasses over there. I have these two little makeup drawers here. I need to get new ones, they're kind of small. Um, but up here I have like lipsticks, over here is like foundation, primers, stuff like that. The top drawer is like um, eyeliners and eyebrow products. The next one is mascaras. The next one is like concealers and highlighters um, and contour sticks. Next I have um, foundation powders and highlights, bronzers. Next is blushes, I love a good blush. And at the bottom is lip gloss, so. Over here I have like miscellaneous products, eyelashes, makeup palette, or eyeshadow palettes. Uh, mainly just like some loose stuff down there. Um, and yeah, we'll go outside of the balcony because that's Chanel's favorite part of the studio. I let her go outside in the mornings or at nights and just look outside at the bunnies. And I'm looking at the bunnies because they're my best friends. Say hi bunnies. We, she literally could sit out here all day and just look and just watch like all the cars go by, the people. They just built something right there. I don't know what it is, but she loves watching it. And she'll sit out here. Sometimes people bring their dogs here and she'll just look at them, stare at them and watch them. And I really love this area because it's really quiet. Like there's really no, never noise here. So I love it. We love it, right baby? Um, this chair was left here by I don't know who, the previous tenant. And I just never threw it out, but I really should. I really, you guys remember I told you I wanted to put like a little patio shit out here, but I'm thinking it's kind of too late for that. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. I'll probably just do it when I move. But, you guys know, look at me, I'm telling you, me and the clothes situation is very, very, like, tragic. Two, I think that, that's two bins of hangers. The top box and the bottom box are, like, storage stuff, like, decorations and stuff. That's a Christmas tree, like, I'm telling you guys, I don't know what in my mind when you think a studio is going to be big enough for me. I mean, it, it is, it's just, I have a lot of stuff and have a business, so, it's like, I... I mean, like double stuff sometimes, you know what I mean? So it's kind of hard, but yeah, I'm pretty sure we covered everything. Um, Go. Go. Get tired, you guys. Too. I gotta go to work. I gotta go. Things done today. You don't go home. But you gotta get that. Before you go, make sure to subscribe if you like this video. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers. That's reach our goal this year, and I'll do a huge giveaway when we hit the thousand subscriber mark. Video before you leave if you liked it. And last but not least, turn on your post notifications so that you do not miss any videos. I hate to watch you go, but I love to watch you leave. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say oh, oh.